Hello, everyone. I'm going to read the book Curious George Car Wash. On Saturdays, George liked to help wash the car. Sometimes his friend Allie helped too. But today, the man with the yellow hat had a surprise for them. Instead of washing the car ourselves, why don't we take it to a car wash? The man asked. They drove to the new automated car wash in town. Welcome, we do it all here. Rinse, wipe, suds, scrubbers, final rinse, and towel dry at the finish line, said the car wash attendant. The man with the yellow hat paid the attendant and they drove through the entrance. Once inside, George noticed something strange. The man had turned off the car, but it was still moving. The rails have rollers on them that carry our car through the wash, said the man. It's called a conveyor belt. First, the car went through the initial rinse that made a spish spish sound. Next came the flaps that wiped against the car. Flap, flap. Then George and Allie heard the blub blub of the soap suds. My favorite part is coming up said the man as the car moved through the scrubbers. Skush, skush. After the scrubbers came the spish, spish of the final rinse before the exit. That was fun. I wish we could do it again, Allie said when they got back to the house. Then George realized he had a water sprayer, soap, and even some cars. They could build their own automated toy car wash. First, they needed a building to drive through. They decided to use two picnic table benches. When pushed together, the benches made an entrance and an exit with plenty of car washing space in the middle. Next, they had to create the spish spish of the rinse, but the water was too strong when sprayed directly out of the hose. George had an idea. He needed something that would let the water out, but not all at once. He found a strainer in the kitchen. Now the car got wet, but wouldn't be knocked over by the water. We need something to wipe the car off and make the flap flap noise, said Allie. What could they use that made the same sound? A mop! George found one inside and set it between the benches. With the mop in place, George poured the soap on the car. But there were no bubbles. He needed something with holes that would help make the blub blub of the soap suds. In the cupboard, he found a tea strainer. He took it outside and filled it with soap, and Allie sprayed water into it. They created perfect soap suds for their car wash. Next, the scrubbers had to be added. Luckily, George found everything he needed in the bathroom. How do we make them scrub? asked Allie. George was curious. How could they get the brushes to move? He noticed that when Allie walked forward with the sprayer, the hose spun around in its holder. That was it. George would use the hose spinner to move the scrubbers. But something was still missing. Of course, George remembered the rails and rollers that carried their car through the car wash. He found some paint rollers, but when he tried to add the rails, they rolled off. We need one of those long black mats that move, like the one at the grocery store, said Allie. George didn't have a long black mat, but he did have short blue ones. With the mats in place, they were ready to try out their toy car wash. The car moved through the spish spish of the first rinse and the flap flap of the mop. Next came the blub blub soap suds and the skush skush scrubbers. 
another spish spish for the final rinse, and the toy car was ready for a quick towel dry. It worked. Now George and Allie had only one thing left to do. Open for business.